I've been waiting for this instrument for a very long time. It's the brand new silent system from Kawhi, the ATX4 on a GL10. How excited are you? I'm thrilled. This is a great, great instrument. We are going to show you how it works. We're going to take a look at the app, and then we're going to listen to some of the sounds that come on the instrument. Hi, this is Ted with Alamo Music Center in beautiful downtown San Antonio, Texas. I'm Patrick Marr. You can find us online at alamomusic.com. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our YouTube channels, check out our other videos, sign up for notifications, like our videos, leave us comments. We appreciate your support and we'd love to interact with you. Yeah, pianist dream. That's what it is. It's a pianist dream to have it something is. like this. I love that we were able to shoot this video today. It came out of a box yesterday, not tuned at all but we were able to shoot the video today because we didn't have to mic it up because we ran directly out of it. How cool is that? It was in good enough to almost shoot a video on out of the but, box. But how cool is that? It's that super cool. You can just plug right in and pull, right, pull a nine foot sample off of an action with a grand piano. Uh, just incredible technology. Uh, silent pianos are no thing that's new. It's, I think the first Yamaha silent pianos were like early 90s and they were like four bit. <laughs> Yeah, uh, you know they had twelve polyphony or something. It was it, they were you play it and it quickly realized how aged it, it was. Is. A functional rehearsed instrument. Today you get something like this. Oh, it's better. Than, it, it is a studio quality, professional quality sound of starting with the Shigeru Kawai concert grand sample down to their upright pianos from the Fender Rhodes through all the vintage keyboards, including all the organs as in Hammond organs and jazz organs and transistors, but then also all the different church organs. And then it has all of the polyphonic pads and the guitars. It's got a bunch of instruments. But the nice thing about it is you get to utilize all these things on your beautiful grand piano. And if it's two o'clock in the morning and everybody's sleeping, you can still enjoy your beautiful grand piano. And the nice thing about it is a digital piano that plays like a grand, it responds like a grand, the pedals work just like on a grand. And you're all in this private room of headphones. It's pretty. It's pretty it, incredible. It is an awesome feeling, and it is. That's why when I say it's a pianist dream, you could practice at home for months on end, and no one knows what you're doing. Mm -hmm. And then actually, the first time they can hear you play, someone might be excited to hear you play, instead of the the thing that's a drag is when you're a parent and you got to go to a recital and hear your kid play what you've been hearing for the last six months. You know where they mess up. You know, you, you, it's so you, stressful. You know, sometimes the little brother that doesn't even take lessons can play it because he's heard it so many mm -hmm. times. Uh, this is different. You can yeah. maintain uh, an integrity of, uh, of practice. And right after we got done shooting that, a customer came in. I put her on headphones and she said, I'm more daring on the headphones because I know no one's listening. I said, you're going to get better because yeah. it's like no one on earth can hear you but you. It's and so you do what you risk think you free. can. It's risk-free. And so, yeah, just incredible use of technology, um, really kind of changing the definitions of what hybrid can be. Uh, you have a full MIDI controller in front of you. You can basically turn this thing into whatever you want it to. It's a controller because it has sensors that fire off and you can connect it to your computer. You can have... Uh, what's what's really cool is, is people aren't going to... You're not going to be distracting other people with your music, but people aren't going to be distracting you with your music. It's, it's really how you. It's how I see when you're able to right. put headphones on and be in the zone on the instrument with a great feeling action. You have the Millennium Three action. Like, what more could you, you ask for? You might as well be on an island all by yourself. It's it's a really incredible, incredible instrument. They've taken their CA99, CA79 uh, controller that's seen on the cheek block of those digitals. They've made it an app on your phone. Very easy, very functional to use. It's the same exact layout, um, but we're going to take a look at it here in a little bit. Uh, but you can just go in; it connects straight straight to your uh, to your device. You don't have to really go into your settings and try to find the piano. You just open up the app, and it it connects automatically with the piano. It's like, oh, you're trying to connect with this one here. Click yes. Then you're changing sounds. You can be recording. You can be layering sounds. Uh, one of the cool things too is you can connect 
this not only to headphones but to a set of speakers. And so if you're big on wanting to mix acoustic sound with digital sound, um, there are some higher end models that can do that on the same instrument. But if you want to hook it up to some nice studio monitors, you can be playing string, the most beautiful string samples with an acoustic grand piano, piano going. Um, and you can really start to experiment and get really cool sounds um, from the instrument. Oh, first things first though. And this is the one thing I always show to every customer is they, they see a grand piano. Because unless you walk around the side and you look for it to be plugged in, no one looks for a grand piano to be plugged in. So they see a grand piano and it's like, well, it's got real, it's a real piano. So how does this work? Well, there's a little lever on the side. You just kind of pull it over and it's underneath the piano. It took me a while to, to, to find to, it. To find, to, I, I thought it was a new attachment for, for the oh, leg for or, something, or something or for, for headphones. And then, but it just swings, it toggles over. So like a clutch. Yeah. It, a clutch. And literally the way it works is when you play on the keys, all the hammers come up. And this thing is just a long neoprene soft rubber bar that goes out like this so that when you press a key, the hammer stops just about less than a millimeter from the string. And so there's no hammer hitting the string. You do hear the action, but it's fairly quiet. Mm -hmm. It's not a real noisy action, but that enables the keyboard to just trigger the digital piano. Mm -hmm. And so then you power that on and put in your headphones and then it turns off a real acoustic grand piano. That is, to me, that was the amazing thing about making a true silent piano or whether it's upright or a grand and they have it working perfectly on both models. It's, it's a very incredible sounding instrument. So let's, let's take a listen and then we'll come back. We'll take a look at the app real quick. Um, but let's take a listen. Ted's going to play it for us and we're going to hear some of the great samples. Over 90 samples in there. Very easy to control with the app. Let's take a listen.
Well, Patrick, I see you working the app and you get to see me working the app on the video. And the one thing I should, I, I um, should have fixed ahead of time was my screen time. And so every time I had to bump my screen back on to go to the next thing, oh, okay. I, I keep a short screen time because I've got one of those rickety batteries. Yeah. But I started at the top with the, uh, the SK Grand Piano. The SKEX. And I just went through all the pianos and then went down all the, the electrics are a lot of fun. I, I mean, I, you know, because I'm demoing the thing, I kind of sort of played the same thing on everything, but that's one I want to go back and put on the headphones and actually have some fun it's, on the instrument. It's a lot of fun. I've, I, uh, we had one that showed up a couple weeks ago. It was sold the next day. That's why we weren't able to do a video on it. But on that one, I had the opportunity to sit with it for a couple hours and it just, I mean, it's so much fun. You, oh, you get lost just it, like, okay, I'm playing a grand piano, but no one else hears me. I'm not disturbing anybody. I'm not. It's mesmerizing. Mm -hmm. As a pianist, as a musician, someone that likes to spend hours and hours practicing, the headphones is, uh, and the sample sound, it's just mesmerizing. Well, let's, I'm going to fire up my app here, do some screen recording. Um, and so this is the app here. We're going to take a look at it here. Um, so the SKEX sample um, is what gets powered up right away. What I really love is that you can use the rendering. If you click this up arrow here, um, you can change pretty much any feature you want on the instrument. You click this. I did not do any of that. I know, I'm I know. but perfectly but, happy with the details as they come through, but I also know some people like, a heavier hammer. Well, you can go in with the variations and actually change. They have some pre-built ones. So the concert, the jazz clean, the warm. So you can go and, and change those defaults. Um, but when you're in the rendering type, you can edit the, the technician, change voicing, change the touch curve, the resonance damp, depth, the damper noise, fallback noise, hammer noise, hammer delay. All this stuff is very user friendly um, and lots, lots to, to experiment with and make the instrument you know, you're, you, it's in your hands and you can control it. Um, you can go through, uh, change the tuning, micro adjustments, transpose directly right here in the app. Uh, it's very cool. Um, so if you wanna swipe through, you can change the different piano sounds pretty easily there. The SK-5, the EX Concert Grand. Um, getting into different sounds, you're gonna look at the bottom of the screen here underneath the rendering, you click sounds. Um, that has all sounds you can save, you can make uh, recently played, things like that. But you can go through here, these are your pianos. You click over here, there's your electric pianos, um, your organs, your more organs here, uh, harpsichords. The harpsichord is one that's fun to set up that aftertouch, that noise, you know, that because I've never played a harpsichord that's quiet. When you let off here, all, oh, you hear all, all, yeah, it's you hear all the everything. noise. And here the samples are quite quiet in terms of the after touch and the after noise. So it's real easy to select those and then you can have recently played, recommended, um, the classics, all that stuff. They, there's different ways to sort the different sounds. Um, you can actually click music and go through uh, something called the hymn player, the composer, lesson books, genres, recorder and playback. This is kind of where the songs come into play and you can play along with the lesson books it comes with um, or you can get into your saved recordings. So if you go back to that home, sc home screen with the piano, um, metronome is right there as well. A metronome is there on every screen and I love it because the minute you get a sound you like, if you're working on something, especially those organ sounds, mm -hmm. and I know a lot of people like to use a certain kind of church organ or a certain sound of a church and that's right there to help you practice yeah, all the time. Yeah, it's very simple to use. So you click up here in the top right corner, there's your recorder, there's your speaker headphones, your four hands mode. Uh, Bluetooth is connectivity here, so you can uh, use it as a Bluetooth. Uh, your MIDI control, everything is here. Um, and so it's very, very simple to use, a great layout. Um, I'm gonna get the, the screen recording ended here, but, um, but just an incredible user-friendly app that comes from their CA line, which is a very loved digital piano line, um, but just makes this a very complete instrument that takes it fully digital, fully acoustic, best of both worlds. How could you not be happy with this instrument? Yeah, the other thing I wanna say is when I, I had to look, download the app, mm -hmm. okay, and Patrick said it's very simple to use. I didn't believe him until it said four years old and up. And so when I got to the app and it had the pictures, I thought, four years old enough. It's right in, right in my it's, speed. It's, it's right, right there. there. <laughs> so very user friendly. I, I think if you look at player or silent systems um, from even five to ten years ago, they were harder to use. Um, there's you pull off the thing, oh, you click three different sounds. It looked complicated. First ones you had to reach around back to turn the piano on. Yeah. So it looked complicated, and they were complicated. 
simplified, stronger technology, uh, just an incredible, incredible sounding instrument. I think it's a home run from Kawhi. It's also going to be available on a K200, their upright, um, and then it also translates into their new Aris system. We'll be reviewing all those when we get them here in the store, um, but really excited to see it on the GL10 at their most affordable baby grand piano with some of the coolest technology that they have to offer. Uh, really, I think a home run for Kawhi. I'm really excited that we have it here in the store that I get to go play with it after we end this video. Um, and hopefully we, one of us can take it home at some point. Wow, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be fun. But thank you guys for watching. Um, if you have any questions about it, please do not hesitate to reach out. This is the ATX4 um, replacing the ATX3 system, its predecessor, um, on a GL10. So just an incredible piece of technology. And uh, we really love, love having it here. Again, we're Alamo Music. This is Ted. I'm Patrick. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe if you haven't. We love making great content and we'll be reviewing all the greatest Kawhi stuff when we get it here in the store.